Yo, skip the intro. We get straight to the bit, bit, bops. You hear me? Look, bro. Listen, listen, bro. Everybody just stop mentioning Briz Rothstein, bro. Respectfully, bro. Look, everybody just stop mentioning Briz Rothstein. Don't put his name in the titles. Don't mention him in no blogs, right? Don't even interview this nigga. Like, just let Shorty go, bro. Let him. He don't want to be in battle rap, right? Let him go, bro. Let that man leave peacefully, bro. Because, like, you always... Yo, Briz Rothstein always got something to say about somebody else. But won't never address his own bullshit, bro. You need to put yourself on the grill, good brother. Fuck is you geeking for? Because he, he got to stop what he's doing, bro. You can't sit there, right, and try to criticize Piper Boy Williams and say battle rap destroyed his household and he has this vicious vendetta towards I, I don't know somebody in battle rap and you know he feel a certain type of way so he just you know talk about niggas all day to make money and you know what i mean like critique niggas battle rap careers like you can't say that when battle rap destroyed your image bro battle rap destroyed your career battle rap destroyed you stop what you're doing bro your last battle was an uncompleted two-on-two -two battle. What, three years ago? Why? You're a battle rapper getting paid top dollar. Why haven't we seen you back in the ring? What destroyed your career, bro? Talk about that. Like, niggas got it. Like, like, that's what the Bible says. God is real, bro. Like, niggas got to get the moat out their eye so they can see clearly to identify what's in somebody else's eye. You can't tell a nigga to get something out their eye if something is in your eye, bro. You can't talk about how bad a rap destroyed the nigga household. You feel me? Bip, bip, bop. Like, if you ain't gonna talk about how bad a rap destroyed your career. You feel me? At this point, you boy cry wolf. Nobody gives a fuck up. Boy, I don't give a fuck. I can't speak for everybody else. I don't give two shits about you coming back to battle rap. If you ever come back to battle rap. Because it's like, you have no... Legitimate reason to not be battling at this point. It's over. Nobody gives a fuck about you getting punched. Nobody gives a fuck about you running. Like you at like you're literally the only person that's still harboring that kind of energy from that, bro. You feel me? That still feel a certain type of way that still feels like he has something to prove to the battle rap community. Nobody is talking about that. The only thing niggas be talking about concerning Braze Rothstein is the little silly shit you be saying. And these little interviews and blogs and whether or not you're going to return to battle rap. Nobody gives a fuck about you getting punched, bro. You feel me? Like, stop, bro. Like, stop. Like, you niggas live in glass houses and I be trying to remind y'all that. You feel me? Like, stop what you're doing, bro. Nigga went at Hip Hop is Real. Uh, uh, he went at Mook. You know, according to him, Mook shouldn't have anything to say about him. Shouldn't have anything bad to say about him. He should just keep his name out of his mouth, like. Right? But you can mention everybody else. You feel me? But can't nobody say nothing about you. As if you're not still a public figure. As if you're not still putting yourself, you know, in the public by doing these interviews on public forums. Like, stop what you're doing, but you want to play victim and act like everybody's attacking you and everybody has something negative to say about you. Just say what you want to say, bro. You don't have to act like... You really got shit on your chest that you want to get off? The shit you said about hip-hop is real, you probably been wanting to say that. I mean, you, you don't like how they always give a platform to Murder Mook. Well, Murder Mook is a battle rapper and they're a media platform. Of course they would do that. Like, it's not personal, bro. But we, we all know, well, I know, I have observed that you're very sensitive, bro. You're very sensitive. This is why three years later, you still mad about that punch as if you didn't fucking antagonize the nigga as if you didn't do something for that punch to be warranted at that moment like this is like come on bro you gotta i mean now you a muslim and i don't know what you think you better than niggas now because you're a muslim like i guess you some devoted muslim and now all of a sudden we gotta hold you to such a high regard we supposed to show all this respect for you and you're such a good man, and don't nobody give no fucks about you being no Muslim, good brother.
just like, who gives a fuck? So what? What do he fucking do? He's a Muslim now. What does that change, bro? You still on the same dumb shit. You ain't gonna seem like you changed to me. I, I ain't see no change. Maybe I ain't, maybe I ain't watching close enough. I don't know. I don't see no change. You still doing that same retarded ass battle rap shit. You know that silly shit battle rappers do. I mean, like, stop what you doing, good brother. Now you got the right to say whatever the fuck you want, but don't try to play victim. Right? They can try to act like everybody's doing something to him, right? Okay, and the minute everybody start talking about you, you gonna find a way to put yourself back in. You feel me? Like, stop it, bro. You want the attention. You want the notoriety. You want to be talked about. You want it. Just stop it, bro. You feel me? But it's a peasy world. Niggas better wake up or die in their sleep. You matter or not.